Carl, welcome to this week's edition of In The Dugout. A couple of questions from the fans to start off with. First, just asking for clarification as to why there's no cash gate for the York game on Friday. Well, the uh, first couple of games has been minimal um, cash taken through the cash gate. Obviously, we've done a, a massive uptake on the season tickets, so majority of ours have all got their season tickets, so it's, it's a case of just nipping into the ticket office and get your ticket on a match day. I'll make it clear, you can you can still purchase a ticket on the day, it's just there's no cash turnstile. So you just go to the ticket office, get your ticket, um, and, and you know, I'm not too sure what, what the fuss is about because it doesn't affect our people who's got season ticket. It makes no difference to them whatsoever. They still carry on doing the same thing. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to make the opposition away team purchase pre you know through the um, the website and and ticket through the ticket office to pre book the tickets so we we can get a gauge on crowds as well um, so there's no it doesn't affect any of our ours um, there's been that minimal season ticket uh, match day tickets going through from ours so we were pretty comfortable with it and hopefully it'll make the process a, a lot easier and it'll encourage people to um, to buy online. And a couple of questions about injuries as well. Like I said, Tarly Boyle have been out recently. Jordan Howden missed the Newcastle game as well. But I'm guessing at this stage of the season, you don't want to be giving too much away. Oh, with the big I think they're season-long, season-long injuries, mate. Of, you know, um, they're out for the year, mate. Uh, nah, uh, you're right. You're 100 percent right. I am. Um, I, we've had this. I think we had this last year, or at some stage. We, I'm not really going to sit on here and. And discuss injury, injuries or what injuries to the players to to alert opposition to to um, you know if they find out they've got a little knock on the shoulder and they'll they'll attack them there or they've got a sore ankle they'll go there. Um, the boys are boys are all not too far away, um, but due, with the actual injuries or how they are, what they are, I wouldn't I wouldn't discuss it on here. I don't think Richard would be too um, too happy with me if I if I did. Featherston game then, it's been confirmed now, Sunday 22nd of April, it's nice to get that date confirmed and in the bag, ready for a busy April month now. Yeah we are, but you know, that's the furthest thing from our minds is the Featherston game at the moment, it's um, it's a massive month for us, we've we've got a, some real tough fixtures coming up and starting on Friday with York, they're a um, very, very good team, you know, they I would I would say they're up there with probably the form team, they've, they've played the top top teams and they've done really well you know everyone saying Bradford was going to run away with it and you know we watched that game and York were very unlucky not to beat them but you know they they had a real good performance lost by two points and you know whoever if you if you watched the the game you would have sort of thought York scored the try at the end and another one they got disallowed so unfortunate they went to Oldham who's who's a real tough tough team and Away at Oldham, you know Oldham's just bet Halifax who are riding high in the championship, uh, and and York went there and bet them. Um, so they've had to play the tough start. They've had a tough start. They beat a championship club in the Challenge Cup. Um, so we know, you know, we know what's coming. We're we're fully prepared for it, um, and we're and we're fully aware of a, a, a form team coming to the keep, mate. Plenty going on again off the pitch on Friday. The extravaganza, all the children getting a free Easter egg, and it's just another case of us showing that it's more than more than just what what's going on on the pitch. Yeah, you and your you and your boys coming up with these uh, <laughs> wonderful, fantastic gestures and extravaganza. That's a good. That goes up there with the yeah, penultimate, doesn't it? I like it. So uh, no, that's that's great. Yeah, giving giving back to the kids, and you know we've done a little bit. Um, what reason I'm coach today has uh, been out with the uh, the colleges at open day so I've been doing a bit of coaching with the the new rugby boys who are joining our college so hence the reason I'm not casual I'm just been doing a bit of club business because I couldn't uh, couldn't call me coach to come over too early in the morning this morning so I, I said to him I'd step in for him and quite enjoyed it um, Rich, better watch out. <laughs> no, no, it was good. I great to get outside in the fresh air and you know trying to teach these boys a bit of rugby, but I'm probably teaching them stuff from the 1950s, mate. So the Rich will have to come in and take over once they start and bring them up to the uh, to the modern day game. 
Something else we've released this week, the four game package as well, a chance for fans to get cheaper tickets on, on the home games we've got during April because there's quite a few of them. Yeah, and, and some have brought them and the, what, what I'm happy about is they're advertising the fact they're putting it out on Twitter and Facebook and all that, that they've they've been down and you know picked up their four game package. I think it's for 40 quid for the adults, 30 for concessions for four games and um, how good's the club? They're, you know, we've got supporters promoting for us now, which we're grateful for and you know it's a it's a decent package at for you know if you're definitely coming to the whole four games um and i think you can pick them up on on uh, friday as well um in the ticket office if you ain't got a season ticket and you don't want the cash gates and it's bothering you then go in and buy the the four game package and you're sorted for the next four games four cracking games too and looking ahead to the York game, then how big a game is it for both sides? There's a couple of players on each side who've had little spells with each club, and does that just add to the the intensity we've got? Obviously, Russ and, and Liam in our camp who, who know what York are about. Yeah, and you know, people forget Ben Cocaine started, you know, came to Donny in the Sinjera, and he, he was a fan's favourite here. You know, I I remember watching them, you know, standing on the sidelines watching him. He he, he was good. He, you know, and he's not changed. He's just full of energy, and you know, people might think he's got a bit older, but he's still full of energy. He's a, and he's a class act. You know, um, we, we may have had a look at him ourselves if we were a bit quicker than York, but unlucky they got they got him. Um, so you know, we we know what Tim Spears, good, tough, solid pro. Um, they've got you know that Moss at the back, and they're they're a tough team um, very similar to us play good rugby they like to play with the ball uh, tough set of forwards not not probably massive but Graham Horn's there as well um, I'm sure he'll want to put one over his brother I was going to um, say will that be an added so, I don't know maybe a bit different you know, I, think, I think they're pretty close and yeah it doesn't matter I think when your brother's a rivalry you, you want to get one over your brother but um, you know so then they're similar to us in, in every way in the forwards you know tough tough forwards and and good running backs um so it's, it's going to be a belter you know always is york when we play york it's always a tough game um so we're, we're we, we need to be ready as simple as that we know it's going to be a real 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 battle sponsors for the game on Friday? Yeah, you know, well, the main man, Paul Bloor, IFS Insurance. I've said it before, any insurance you need, just contact Paul Bloor, look him up on Twitter. He's the man, he'll sort it all out for you. He uh, He's great for the club and supports us all the way. And not only is he a sponsor on the shirt, he sponsors games and everything like that. So big up to Paul.